development and evaluation of inbred lines for hybrids. Inbred lines are genetically uniform lines achieved through repeated self-pollination. To create genetically stable lines for use in hybridization to enhance yield, climate resilience, and other agronomic traits. Vital for producing hybrids with desired traits, maximizing heterosis, hybrid vigor. Steps in inbred line development. Identifying diverse germplasm with favorable traits. Repeated selfing over generations to achieve homozygosity. Testing inbred lines for desirable characteristics like yield, disease resistance, and stress tolerance. Ensuring genetic uniformity and stability. Breeding techniques for inbred line development. Pedigree breeding, selection based on family history and observable traits. Single seed descent, SSD advancing generations using a single seed to quickly achieve homozygosity. Doubled haploidy, using tissue culture to create completely homozygous lines in one generation. Marker-assisted selection, MAS using molecular markers for efficient selection of desired traits. Evaluation of inbred lines. Phenotypic evaluation, testing in various environments for yield, disease resistance, and stress tolerance. Trait-specific screening, assessing inbred lines for specific traits like high yield, pest resistance, drought tolerance, or nutritional content. Genotypic evaluation, using molecular markers and genomics for genetic uniformity. First, we need to identify the general combining ability. Only the good general combiners among the inbred lines should be further evaluated with specific crosses. Hybrid development using inbred lines. Combining ability, combines the genetic contributions of parents for traits and hybrids. Helps identify superior parent lines for breeding. General combining ability measures the average performance of a parent in hybrid combinations, indicates additive gene effects, cumulative effects of genes. Purpose of GCA analysis, identify parents with favorable alleles, enhance traits consistently across various hybrid combinations. Hybrid development using inbred lines. Specific combining ability, SCA measures the performance of specific parent pairs. Reflects non-additive gene effects, dominance in epistatic interactions. Experimental design for GCA and SCA analysis. Diallel crosses, all parents are crossed with each other. Line times tester design, lines are crossed with testers, a few distinct genotypes. Partial diallel. Use of GCA, select parents for traits with additive effects. Use of SCA, optimize specific crosses for traits with dominant or complex inheritance. Benefits of hybrid varieties. Increased yield, resilience, and vigor compared to parents. Improved disease resistance, drought tolerance, and nutrient content. Easier harvesting and predictable quality. Challenges in inbred line development. Reduced genetic diversity due to intensive selection. Multiple generations of self-pollination required. Performance of lines can vary across different environments. Developing resistance in lines is resource-intensive. Future directions in inbred line development. Genomics and molecular breeding, incorporating genomics for precision breeding and faster inbred line development. CRISPR and gene editing, targeting specific genes for enhanced traits. High-throughput phenotyping, using AI and digital tools for efficient trait evaluation. Climate-resilient varieties, developing lines with tolerance to changing climate conditions. Conclusion and applications. Inbred line development is critical for creating high-yielding, resilient hybrids. Widely used in crops like maize, rice, and vegetables for sustainable agriculture. Advanced breeding techniques are making hybrid development faster and more efficient, meeting global food security needs.